Every now and then, I like to read the odd non-fiction book, especially if the subject matter interests me, which in this case happens to be all about my favourite writer of all time, Mr. Stephen King. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel, you're with Chris and today I'll be reviewing Reading Stephen King, edited by Brian James Freeman, published in just November last year. This book contains essays from key collaborators of Stephen King's over the years as they weigh in on all their experiences to do with King's massive bibliography and body of work. Now I have uh, a few really good Stephen King non-fiction titles in my own library which I'll show, uh, show you in a minute. but. Uh, all these authors that have written these books have actually contributed to this compelling read. And these collaborators include people like Stuart O'Nan, who is a long-time collaborator of King's. We have Richard Chisma, who everyone knows collaborated with King on the Gwendy trilogy. We have Stephen Spignesi, who is a prominent um, author of uh, Stephen King's bibliography. We have Rocky Wood, who was responsible for writing Uncollected Unpublished. We have Robin Firth, who wrote The Dark Tower Discordance. And we have Mick Garris who everyone knows, he adapted Riding the Bullet, Sleepwalkers, Bag of Bones, the TV series, Desperation, the TV series, and The Shining from 1997. What a great miniseries that was and a really good adaptation. And of course, The Stand TV series, the original series from 1993. We also have Frank Darabond weighing in. Now, he needs no introduction. He adapted The Mist, but he's more well known for adapting two of the most successful Stephen King works onto the big screen, and they are The Green Mile and The Shawshank Redemption, probably the two most successful adaptations of all time. Now, I found all the accounts very interesting and picked up on things that I weren't aware of previously, particularly the insightful essay from Kevin Quigley about King's writing after he joined Scribner in 1999 and how his career took off again and flourished for the better as a result. It goes into a lot of detail for most books, um, starting with Bag of Bones, which kicked everything off. Now, The Adventure of Reading Stephen King is a key essay in this collection from Michael R. Collings, and I was fascinated about how much work went into compiling the bibliographies that he amassed over time. I mean, Stephen King has such a massive body of work. It's not just the books, it's papers um, from his college days and all these little uh, unknown treasures and newsletters and things like that. And I found that really informative and really, really interesting. Now, if you want to find out more about Stephen King, the writer, look no further than this book. It's low commitment and it's a quick read at just over 200 pages. I devoured it and enjoyed it thoroughly and I recommend adding this to your Stephen King collection if you have one. Now, let me just show you my collection here. We have uh, a brief guide to Stephen King from my library. We have the Stephen King story, probably the most famous account from George Beam. I also have The Complete Stephen King Universe, written by multiple authors, which is a fantastic book. I also have The Lost Works of Stephen King by Stephen J. Spignesi, which is a really good one. I have The Stephen King Companion by George Beam as well, so that's a nice little hardcover I have. And from Rocky Wood, the book I mentioned before, Uncollected, Unpublished. And I also have The Essential Stephen King by Stephen J. Spignesi. So he's a prominent non-fiction King author. And I've got The Dark Tower, Complete Concordance by Robin Firth. Okay, and finally I have Horror Plumed by Michael R. Collings, which is another fantastic title. So not a bad little collection there, and it makes for very good reading. And uh, just reading this book, reading Stephen King, I kind of regret reading it now because it has made me very wistful about Stephen King's uh, work and it made me want to read the Dark Tower series again and The Stand again, which I might do soon, but as if I don't have enough to read, it didn't really help my um, compulsion to uh, read, so uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, thanks very much for watching this, guys. Really appreciate it. I have been on a hiatus for a little while. I hadn't been feeling well because of a allergic reaction in my foot, so 
haven't really felt creative lately. I felt that this was a video I wanted to do. Um, it didn't take much brain power or um, creative energy, but it is something I'm lacking at the moment. So I'm not quite sure when more content will be coming. Uh, I did say on the community post that I'll be taking a bit of a break and coming back in April. Having a bit more of a think about that, I don't know if I'm coming back in April or not. I just don't know but uh, yeah I'm just lacking a bit of creative energy and uh, inspiration I guess and uh, I don't really want to force it I'm finding myself in a reading crisis at the moment as well I mean recently I did finish the Mistborn trilogy which was fantastic and uh, I've picked up three books and I'm floating between them and I'm not really getting anywhere at the moment because life at the moment is very chaotic as well so it doesn't leave a lot of time for reading so I'm just going to have to manage that as best I can and uh, just read without any pressure of talking about it on the channel. I'm going to have a bit more of a break. Not quite sure when I'll be back. Uh, it could be sooner rather than later. I just don't know. But uh, not feeling overly inspired at the moment. So please be patient. It could be uh, one month, two months or three months that uh, I'm away for. I might just check in occasionally with the odd tag video or a book haul or something like that or if I particularly love a book talk about it but um, in terms of weekly updates and monthly summaries and things like that I'm probably not going to do that much um, in the near future but it's uh, all a bit up in the air so I'll be sure to keep you posted but thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, just bear with me while I work through this um, issue I have. But uh, hopefully uh, I'll be back to normal soon. But uh, only time will tell. But until the next video, guys, whenever that will be, I don't know. Happy reading.